Holy Lord. I am with. You guys know him. The YouTuber. Yeah. The biggest YouTuber in South Africa. The biggest YouTuber. <laughs> yeah. Don't forget to use the link in my. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, I am with the biggest YouTuber in South Africa. Yep. In South Africa. So you guys don't get that. Everyone that's on YouTube is the biggest South Africa <laughs> here, according to us. I'm with Kumbi and we are out in George. We're on our way to Nizna. We are currently sitting in the GWM Tank 500. But you know how we do it this side. I'm in the Kinesh from Sutra South Africa alongside Kumbi. Um, probably brought to you by Change Cars and All Things Motoring. Yeah, we gonna indulge this vehicle, tell you what I think about it, the price, whether I like it, well I like it already, but um, I'm gonna touch more about the vehicle. And as it drives away, the first thing that we need to speak about, obviously you know how we do it this side, speak about the extra look of the vehicle. I like the extra look of the vehicle. Um, we in this black one, it looks good. I'm just not a fan of the, I feel like it has too much chrome. Uh, in, in the front, I think that's for me. Can that's my biggest in? problem. Yeah, you can come in. Obviously, no, no, yeah, no, I think it works, bro. With this black, I think the chrome works. It gives that gangster look, bro. So um, so you're gonna, you guys are gonna see the black one, the one that we're driving, and then I'm gonna take a video of the other color in the chrome. So I think maybe in the black it works, but I feel like it's too much chrome. But also, I think it's an age thing, where too much chrome is old. Too much chrome is too old. Much chrome yeah. is, it's and an, I'm in an old the older car. side, so I do appreciate the chrome on here. You're not that old. No, I'm old. <laughs> So yeah, I think yeah, that's that. But I like the rear end of the vehicle. Yes, this car does look like a car that you guys have most probably seen on South African roads before. So there's no need to comment down below that it looks like a specific car. Yeah, we do know Ellen that. <laughs> yeah, Land Cruiser Prado. Yeah, Land Cruiser Prado. But yeah, outgoing with the old, the old, older one. one yeah. Older yeah. one. So this with the, sorry, bro. especially with that spare wheel. Spare wheel. Right? That's, yeah. that's old school vibe. So, it's not Nikki's video now. It's Kuluma <laughs> Mina. It's our video. <laughs> so yeah, that's what the extra look of the vehicle. You guys will tell us what you guys think about the extra look of the vehicle. But I think for me, the main thing in this car, aside from it being over a million rand, is the interior. It's, you know, when GWM does interiors, they go all out. Even in the GWM 3, um, Tank 300, the interior was something of, it looked very good. So getting into this one, I was like, okay, you know what, this is, so first, what you what you get, you greet it, but there's, I don't even know how many inches this touchscreen, 14, 14, 14 inches, this touchscreen um, infotainment system, it's big. I like the fact that the Apple CarPlay is the whole screen and not part of the screen, like what some other, um, manufacturers do. I love that about the vehicle. Then you get your digital instrument cluster up front, which shows you everything you need to know from your speed. Your lane keep assist if you're using adaptive cruise you can change it up you can show you your map there then on the right hand side you can show your tire temperature you can show you your the kilometers and for reference right now it's currently showing us the amount of k's we've done so we've done 94 k's and the tank is sitting on 516 so if you add that up it's just over 600 k's and we've been driving not on the economical side of things and if you're driving economically you can ease, I can even say easily, but you can get to 800k, I'd like to believe. So over the overplay video is showing you when I jumped into the vehicle, what the range was saying. I think it's saying seven, late late 700s. So that's the fuel, in terms of fuel. We, I won't do a fuel economy test because we are not driving economical. The car, is even, it's even in sport now as we speak. So we're on the heavy side of things. Uh, when I do get the car in test, we'll, we'll do that. But... Yeah, I've, I've, I've spoken about a bit a bit about the car. In terms of the driving of the vehicle, I'm going to let Kumbi tell you the drive. Uh, what are your thoughts about the drive of the vehicle? Um, so it's it's a, it's an HUV, right? Um, I do feel like there isn't... I do personally, sure, this 2-litre um, HUV does work. It's fine in here and all that stuff. Obviously, the, a lot of people are going to be buying this, but I do wish that there were obviously a V6 turbo diesel engine which would just have that grunt because sometimes there isn't response from this when I'm in sports and I just want to throttle and go. There isn't like quite a fast response, but a lot of people won't be bothered by that. Yeah. Right? Day to day driving is perfect. It works. There isn't any, any worries you're going to have and all that stuff. And you mentioned obviously fuel consumption is going to come into play with that. But I just feel like at this price range that they're putting it, I mean, you look at the Everest Platinum V6, V6. you know, you look at 
like all those things which just have that v6 option so give me that v6 option for me to just have the power but it does drive cool the steering wheel is chunky it's it's chunky so it's all over the show but it is direct you point it and it goes you point it and it goes and what else uh, i wish it had the diesel more yeah. than anything I, I feel like at this price point and looking at the competitors the diesel is yeah because now you when someone looks at this vehicle, they'll be like, is there diesel? Once yeah. they hear there's no diesel, they'll be like, I'll just go get an Everest Platinum yeah. or a Toyota Prado because in sure. South Africa, the people that buy those vehicles as well, they want to use those vehicles and they're obviously going to want to tow and stuff. And already, you're complaining about low-end torque in this vehicle. Now, imagine when you want to tow, tow a caravan or tow something, already sure. it's going to be a, a bit worse, whereas a diesel would have given you that low-end Talk, no yeah. talk. But I'm pretty sure people are gonna still go by these things, and I mean, sure, it's got talk more than that Prado in terms of what 658. Yeah. And then it's got more power than that Prado, but in terms, I think for me, it's just when it's comparing it to um, that Everest, Everest Platinum, yeah. yeah, because it's now playing against the, the territory in terms of everything in here. To yeah. be honest, luxury tech, and it's on power. But for me, and it's a personal preference. preference. I'm not saying that this engine is bad. It's bad, yeah, yeah. It's fine, and like nobody's going to be peltering this thing. Also, that's you know? another. That's, that's, a, a, that's a another thing. That's we need also, as as journalists or motor reviewers, we need to understand that the way we drive and the look and the things that we look at, not everyone looks it's at those things. Yeah, so yeah, I think that's our quick launch review. I share the same sentiments as them with terms of the driving of the vehicle. It's a bit too bouncy as well. Okay. Um, so a bit too bouncy, floaty as well but i can't really blame it for being floaty it is a big vehicle but it's a bit bouncy and it's not well not that well insulated i'm actually hearing it now because i'm not we're not banging music i can hear a bit of wind noise but yet again it's we're windy. in george we're yeah. it's windy so i think i'll be able to tell you if it's not well insulated when i do get it on test back up in in Gauteng and then yeah but yeah i think that's our thoughts of the vehicle oh interior there's a lot of space even in the second row of seats. This is a seven seater. So there's two seats at the back. Boot capacity, you should be seeing it on the play videos. I'll put it there. Decent enough, gets the job done. Problem is when the sixth and seventh seat is up, the boot capacity is compromised. My problem about those seats at the back, one thing that I like, the electric. What I don't like about the fact that the electric is that you need to press and hold for the seats to drop or the seats to rise. And you guys are gonna be like, ah, but Nikki, you need picking. I'm not need picking because at Fort Everest, you press the button, it goes down so, so we need to see where we turn we need sorry. to see, like, actually guys sorry we need to see where we're turning we're on 100 right, yeah. 106 comfort break toilets are required on 1.6 i think there's a comfort break there so keep going straight keep going straight and then 104 gravel road begins okay so yeah that's us we're gonna jump into the p500 as well so p500 is the piece the bigger piece series essentially we're gonna tell you our thoughts about that i think for me because i'm a bucky boy that's what i'm looking forward to the most but yeah I'll see you guys in a bit. Actually, before we move on to the P500 video, um, that's going to be a separate video from the one that you guys are seeing now. This is about the Tank 500. So, I didn't tell you about the pricing of the vehicle. That's very important. I didn't tell you about the pricing of the vehicle. This car is priced at 1,222,900 Rand. And there's only one model the one that you guys are seeing right now is the only model available there is no entry level there is no this is a top specification it's only one model and so if you take that car over the change cars vehicle finance calculator and you finance it over a period of five years which is 60 months at an interest rate of 12.25 percent with no deposit no balloon payment you're looking at paying 27,500 rand for this car yet again what do i think about the pricing it's a lot of money but you're getting a lot of car on top of that so if you're looking at buying this vehicle you're obviously looking at i'll put on the screen what they look at what they're competing with they're competing with the likes kumbi and i spoke about it the ford everest um platinum you're looking at the land cruiser um the land the toyota prado so yeah it's all up to you guys would you guys want to buy this vehicle would i buy this vehicle personally no but yeah me, me ford i don't know what ford gave me but ford gave me that you know, you eat that arch and you just want to keep going back. I feel like that's what Ford gave me. I really love that Ford Everest Platinum. Um, but this is a good offering from from GWM. So, yeah, we are signing out. Kumbi and I are signing out. We're going to tell you about the the P500. It's actually the one that we're sitting in right now. And, yeah, from Sitio South Africa, Omni Kinesh, as always. I hope you guys like the content. I'm proud to change cars and all things motoring. Omni Kinesh.
that's Kumbi M. Mchagazi, the biggest YouTuber <laughs> in the country. And we're signing out. <laughs>